Hi everyone! Today we are reading Two Sisters, One Sarong, written by Lorraine Jung. Jitwan had a sarong. It was her favourite. It was a gift from her grandmother to the family when she was born. It cuddled her day and night as she bounced up and down the spring cot. It carried her safely on her mother's side when she could barely walk. Then along came her new baby sister, Ryang. The sarong became her favourite too. It also cuddled her day and night as she bounced up and down the spring cot. Gituan and Ryang became good friends because of this sarong. They would host a picnic together in their backyard. They would bounce their furry friends on their sarong trampoline. On some rainy days, they would hide in their sarong tent. They would conduct a wedding with it, hold a puppet show, take each other on sleigh rides, and have a swinging time. Sometimes they would fight over it, but they would always make up by the end of the day. As time went by, Ryang had to move to another room as Gitwa needed her own space. Both of them wanted to sleep with the sarong, so they fought over it. The sarong tore in half and they both got what they wanted. But they lost their friendship after that day. Life in the family was not the same anymore. There was no more laughter in the home. The sound of giggling was just a memory away and the joy that once filled the four walls was gone. Instead, a wall had come up between the two sisters and nothing their parents did could bring the togetherness back. One year later, Gituan and Ryang welcomed their new baby sister into the family. She had cute round eyes, thick black hair and a smile that would melt the hardest heart. Gituan and Ryang loved baby Inang. They would tickle her toes, sing to her and rock her to sleep. Baby Inang brought Gitwan and Ryang closer as they laughed and played together, but painful memories of the torn sarong still clouded their hearts. When Inang was four years old, her sisters brought her to the riverside for a picnic. Gitwan laid her teapot and cups on her side of the sarong, and Ryang laid her rice and fish on the other half of the sarong. Meanwhile, Inang had wandered off to play by the river's edge. Suddenly, screams were heard as Inang fell into the river. The girls grabbed their sarongs and ran to the bridge. They found Inang clinging onto a piece of floating wood. As their sarongs were not long enough to reach their sister, they tied a knot to join both the halves together. Inang grabbed onto the sarong and they pulled her safely to shore. From that day onwards, Gituan and Ryang found the friendship they had lost many years ago. The knot tied on the bridge out of love for their little sister made them realize that something good can come out of something bad. Unity can be found in division and love can heal the deepest wounds.